Yeah, today is, a, is just an average day, so it's just a matter of getting a, a daily exercise. Detail's important. You gotta make sure their feet are cleaned properly, uh, their legs are washed properly, they're kept clean, period. Uh, and done in a, in a manner that doesn't upset them too much. You know, some, you can have a groom that's a clean freak and drive a horse nuts. You don't want to do that because they get tired of being brushed every day, twice a day. So you have to mix good, clean horses, but not, not overdo it and, and irritate them. on this second or third? The new marking all over on the third. Yeah. Okay. Just stand him on the corner, take your time, one to five. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, we're always checking knees, ankles, shins, feet uh, for any difference in heat. If one foot is hotter than the other, that, that means there's something wrong there. Sometimes there's a pulse of the veins going down the back of the sesamoids that go to the feet, and that would tell you there's a real problem there. And we're always watching that and monitoring it to, to try and avoid problems. When one joint's hotter than the other or warmer, it means there's something going on there and you better figure it out. We like to let him stand on the corner and enjoy himself and, and uh, stay comfortable with his surroundings. Um, but he, he responds very well. Um, the exercise boy, Edgar, gets along with him very well and, and uh, they make a good team. And it's just a matter of a nice gallop around there and stretch his legs and, and uh, he'll come back, get a nice bath and eat a little grass and enjoy the day a little bit and then He'll be sleeping in the stall later.
you know, I'm, I'm so fortunate. I've got people, uh, my assistant and foreman have both been there 35 plus years. A lot of the grooms have been here 20, 30 years. So most everybody here knows what we want and what to do. Uh, so I just kind of walk around and look like I'm in charge. Different people have different feelings on how much or how you should do anything we do with the, with the horses. And that's what makes different trainers different. different. Um, I like to have a good amount of bedding. I like to keep a little pad up against the wall in case they get cast. They tend to roll off of the wall with that. Um, but other trainers have different feelings about that. So I respect that. I just do what works for me.